Hi. I eat dirt. <laughs> I get the feeling that this magic doesn't play nicely with others in the slightest. I mean, just look at this thing. Earth magic is one of the magics you can choose to have in the creation of a file, and choosing it will probably make you feel unstoppable later in the game. It has high damage, high size, and high destruction for the cost of speed, but it doesn't even matter due to the size being able to hit anything and anyone within 100 meters from their location. Earth can be very flexible with the armor build it's paired up with for its high damage alone can make room for many other stats like attack speed, attack size, and defense to rise in your character while still hitting like a truck. Not to mention the synergies it has with other magics. Earth does 10% more damage to bleeding, crystallized, corroding, sandy, or melting targets, and 20% on frozen targets. So with that in mind, you're probably confused on why my second magic is fire, which has no synergy with Earth at all. Well, my answer to that is the allocation fire magic has with arcanium armor, which is 100% power. Also, just because fire is a generally good magic with base stats. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the PvP. This person you're seeing me fight is a wood sailor style warlock, which I vaporize very quickly. The second fight they put up is a bit better. This person is a metal lightning mage, who, uh, within like an hour of PvPing him, he, uh, has learnt from me, so, uh, that's nice. This is TR. He is a not max level ice conjurer. I told him that he should probably get to max level before PvPing, but he was like.
that's basically it for this video. Um, my professional opinion, Earth is a freaking monster. The high size on it is just unfathomable to have, especially with the amount of attack size I put into this. It still being able to hit what it can with only 143 attack size is incredible. The damage is also just... It, it, it's stupid. It's plain stupid. I only have 69 power on this build. Nice. And I'm still hitting for like over 200 damage for most of my abilities. If not all of them. So that is just... that That is... Why, Vtex? This is broken. This is literally broken. I was able to put a lot of versatility in stats on my armor build because of Earth's high damage. I could sacrifice a lot of potential power that I could have had for this build and instead put it into different secondary stats like attack speed and attack size and also put it in a lot of defense because, you know, who, who doesn't like defense? This is an absolute beast of a magic and its high versatility for its high damage is great. It's amazing. If you want a really dumb build like this one, then Earth is the way to go. You just hit people, and that's basically it. You hit them, you crush them, and you win. And here's the armor build I was using. So this entire build centralizes mainly on just versatility. There is very simple stats that I have here. Not too much power, because Earth already has that part taken care of. It's incredibly high power, so it doesn't really matter. I have a good amount of defense, because... yes. I have good attack size, because, you know, attack size wouldn't hurt on big magics, and uh, attack speed. Why? Because Earth is kind of slow, so it'd be nice to speed it up a bit, and also because the casting speed is also affected by this, and this, and fast casting speed would be pretty nice to have, especially with my fire magic. So what we got here, we got an armored sunken iron helmet with two malachites, we got a crystalline brisk attack speed amulet for basically all of the attack speed. We got a powerful Vatatros cape for most of my power with bursting candelarias. We got an explosive sunken iron armor for half of the attack size that I'm getting as well as some good defense. It has malachites on them. And we got armored sunken iron boots which has malachites on them giving more attack size and power for the build. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe, and comment down below what you guys would like to see me review next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!